so hey everybody today's problems name is maximum points you can obtain from cards and it's a medium level difficulty problem and it's a new problem on lead code just update it today so let us see what the problem states there are several cards arranged in a row and each row has an associated number of points the points are given in the array card points and in one step we can take one card either from the beginning or from the end okay and we have to take exactly k cards okay exactly k cards uh, we have to draw out and our score will be the sum of the points on the card you have taken so we are given an array and its elements will determine the score and we are required to take k cards out of the array such that the sum is maximum so let's just simply see the examples let's uh, first focus on the second example okay we'll go on the first later on the first example states that uh, we have to draw two cards okay k is 2 and this is the array so uh, and we can draw the cards either from the starting either from the starting or from end okay so uh, the array only contains element 2 so regardless of which two cards we take our score will be 4 always okay so let's suppose i took out this two first then i took this two and our output is 4 now in third example we can see that k is 7 so as you can see the array size is 7 only so that means we can take out each and every card from the array and the output will be sum of the total elements okay and example 4 we can see that we have to draw only one card and since we can draw either from the first or the last so the output is 1 now let's see the first example okay this will clear things a bit so suppose this is the given array and k is 3 so from where I uh, take out the first card both elements are 1 only so I will take out card from the last why I did this because I can see that if I will take this card out I will be able to get 6 then I will be able to get 5 so this things clears it up that we don't only have to focus on the first and the last element we have to look at the elements that are after the first and last element okay so this itself is a proof that we don't only have to focus on the first element but we have to uh, focus on the first three elements first k elements in fact so in this problem we have to consider these three elements and these three elements and that is how we will solve this problem so this was a small hint and this example we can see first we have taken out one then we take out six then we take out five and its sum is one plus six plus five that is 12 so how are we going to solve this problem let us just first see okay so let us see how are we going to solve this problem I have taken this array and the given k is 3 for this array okay so why have I taken this array it is uh, because of a special purpose because some of you might think that we can solve it in some way that I am going to discuss right now okay so let's just uh, see that approach that comes first to our mind and that is not correct okay let us just see first like if uh, if somebody says that uh, how about if I take the maximum from the first and last element and store it in sum and keep doing and I keep doing this until I pick three element until I pick k elements okay so let's just see what will be wrong in that approach so suppose this is the array first of all if I see the greater uh, element from the first two elements okay so 5 is greater than 1 so suppose I have taken 5 I have added it in sum and now 5 is gone now I have 3 and 1 out of 1 and 3 3 is big uh, larger so 5 plus 3 I, I have added it in sum and 3 is out now out, out of 4 and 1 4 is bigger so I have added 4 simply in sum and 4 is gone I have picked 3 cards now the sum will be 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 4 12 okay so according to this approach the sum will be 12 but 
the answer is wrong why uh, let me tell you how I will be picking my cards first of all I will pick 5 okay I will pick 5 I will add 5 in my sum now the next element that I will pick is 1 so I will pick 1 and now I am left with this array and now I will take 8 so 8 is also 1 so you see 8 plus 5 is 13 and 13 plus 1 is 14 so sum is 14 14 is greater than 12 and with 3 cards I can have a greater sum so this approach fails here and we are not going to do this this will give you wrong answer so now let's see what is the correct approach of this problem okay this was our array this is the k given and what I will simply do I will take two arrays okay one will be left sum that will contain the sum from the left okay and its size wait I will take so write sum and it, so its size will be k plus 1 both the array will have size of k plus 1 so k is 3 so how many elements will be there 4 in this and 4 in this okay so first of all uh, we will fill in the left sum uh, array so I will start from here if I haven't started for the left sum my sum is 0 initially okay now as soon as I encounter the first element the sum is 5 I will enter 5 in this okay this is the index so I have encountered 5 and I have added 5 in it okay and I will move to the next uh, from left and the element uh, that we encounter is 3 so I will simply add it 5 plus 3 is 8 so I will add 8 and now I will go next and I have encountered 4 so 8 plus 4 is 12 so this will be stored in the left sum array okay and now I will take elements from the right if we start uh, taking out elements from the right okay so before starting the sum would be 0 and from here I will go the first element I have encountered is 1 so I will put 1 in here next element I will encounter is 8 so 1 plus 8 is 9 and then the next element is 4 so 9 plus 4 is 13 okay so these two arrays are, are filled now how I am going to obtain the result is what I will do I will simply add these two okay I'll add the 0th uh, element of this uh, array and uh, the last element of this array. Why I'm doing so? This case represents that I have taken all the three elements from the right. From the right, I have taken all the three elements. So the sum will be 0 plus 13. So sum is 13, okay? Right now. Now the next I am going to consider is its first element with its second element. So this case represents I have taken two elements from the right and one element from the left. So the sum will be you can see that 5 plus 9. So in this case our sum will be 5 plus 9 and that is 14. So if 14 is greater than 13 yes so I will update sum. Okay so sum is 14 now. Now the next case that I am going to consider is its second element with its first. Okay so 8 plus 1. So 8 plus 1 is 9 and since 9 is less than 14 so I will not update sum sum is 14 only now the last uh, comparison will be between these two its 0th element and its last element so adding the values 12 plus 0 is 12 and 12 is less than 14 so the sum will be 14 only so the sum is 14 and that is you can see that that, that is our answer so in this case I am considering each and every option and out of those I am selecting the maximum and this is how are we going to solve this exactly so let's just simply code it now so let's start coding now so uh, first of all what we will do we will define the left sum and right sum arrays okay and okay, let me just shift it a bit here okay 
its size was k plus 1 ok and uh, write some write after that initially both the indexes I have to assign it to 0 so at 0th index in both the array 0 should be there ok after that um, fill the values in the left sum index and right sum index so and i equals 1 i must be less than equals k i plus plus so left sum of i is equals to left sum of i minus 1 plus card points I'm simply putting the values in left sum as discussed in the explanation that's what all I have done here initialize i and now I will do it for the right uh, sum uh, going from the right to the array ok so i equal to Must be less than equals k i plus plus so write sum of i must be equals to card points of card so card point dot length minus i ok plus write sum of i minus 1 now I have assigned the values of sum to both left and right sum so we have to calculate uh, the sum now ok so and sum equals 0 that will be our answer so for int i equals 0 i must be less than equals k a plus plus at last what we will be returning is sum only and inside that sum will be mapped max of sum comma left sum of i plus right sum of k minus i ok <clears throat> so this was it I have assigned a left sum array and a right sum array and initially assigned uh, both the uh, index 0 value at 0 index the value is 0 then simply add uh, added values in the left sum and then in the right sum and then simply have compared all the results and have calculated the maximum sum from it so let's just see if it runs okay accepted very first time nice okay so it is done and that was the problem. I'll see you in the next video.